Hi, I'm Laura Flanders. What if you could vote on whether everyone at your company could lower or raise their wage? What if there was a cap on how much a CEO or an executive director at your firm could be paid in relation to the base starting employee's wage? What if workplaces could be more democratic? Mark Dworkin and Melissa Young of the documentary Shift Change have made a film about a whole lot of places right here in the U.S. where that is exactly the case. What would it take from government to make the kind of co-op that you're talking about and that you've studied easier to begin, easier to maintain? I think of a sort of two broad categories. One is, um, until very recently, the Small Business Administration could not make funds available to cooperatives, although they could, cooperatives are businesses. Um, they could be treated like other businesses in that way. In fact, there's some legislation in the works now federally to provide more resources to cooperatives. So that would be one thing, some positive benefits. The other is to curtail the nasty practices of big corporations, which are hurtful to all of us and to small business of any kind. So in Mondragon, they achieve the status they have is like 85,000 people working there. They do $25 billion worth of business a year and so on. They were able to become large enough and strong enough before international corporations got wind of them and, and tried to do them in. I'm fearful in this country that if some cooperative became big and somebody found them threatening, they could do things to try to hurt them. But if we had better regulation in general, if we had better antitrust laws in general, if that was enforced, then cooperative members have told us time and again, we don't want anything any more than any other business gets. We just want a chance to do what we do and not be undermined. So there are the macro challenges, there are also the, the micro challenges. Somebody in your film talks about it requires a certain kind of mindset to be an effective co-op member. How would you describe that mindset and does everybody have it? A lot of us uh, grow up with a sense of cooperation in our family. Um, we see these disasters like the recent tornado that we saw in Oklahoma. People pitch in. I mean, there is a sense of um, getting involved in things and caring about our neighbors in some real ways. Um, but a lot of that gets trained out of us, I think. Once we start school with a top-down, uh, kind of uh, structure and, and many of our jobs are very top down. Um, so it takes a person who's willing to listen, who's willing to learn, who is uh, eager to collaborate. And um, what we learn from a lot of these co-ops is that doesn't always just develop naturally, that in fact, there's a lot of training. Mm -hmm.